Memphis XL, all right, welcoming you back to check this out. The show, we take a look, whatever deck we want to take a look at, and we have ourselves a good time with it. Today, everybody, we're taking a look at the blast in the past, the thunder from down under, it's koalas. We're taking a look at a koala deck, trying to do the usual koala things, which is summoning big koala, go for Master of Oz, that sort of thing. But I'm trying something a little bit different, I'm trying to kind of sort of modernize koalas at the same time, trying to just do something kind of different with them. So we got our koalas, of course. We also have the tenyes because we are focused around a normal monster. We got the tenyes doing stuff like that. Uh, we also have the vernisilfs, which are meant to help, you know, set up graveyard, get monsters into the graveyard, and also turn everything into a vernisilf so that our little fairies can aid the big beast. So it's an interesting deck. It has a lot of different moving parts and a lot of different things it can do. Sometimes it goes perfect, sometimes it doesn't. So we're going to go into EDO Pro, we're going to show off this deck a little bit, we're going to show off the combos, the wombos, and we're going to see what this deck has in store for us today, how the people of EDO Pro take to it, we'll see how it all goes. Uh, for now though, let's go ahead into uh, the Wild West Yu-Gi-Oh! We'll show off what this deck can do, and we'll have to go to some good time. Let's get started. Alrighty everybody, our first opponent, another day, another card game. And we can go first or second, it doesn't really matter too much. Kind of leaning towards first, just because of modern Yu-Gi-Oh being what it is. We'll see where it all ends up. All right, opening hand is actually pretty interesting. All right, scale bomber. Moan's bomb, tribute to insect, destroy it. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see. Let's see. And okay. Let's start with the Vessel of the Dragon Cycle. We do have many Atenyi, and I probably could have had a normal on the board before I did anything, but it's fine. I got a little overexcited there, but you know, it's time to be serious. We're going to play Fusion Deployment. We don't screw around. We're summoning the Koala straight from the deck. That's right. I've got a big old Koala for you. And you know what? I've got another Koala, but you'll see him later. Uh, for now, there you go. We'll attack with our monster. This is what this is what we do. We summon koalas from the deck. We summon them from the grave. We summon them from wherever we need to summon them from. And you know, big you know, as much as I want to summon out Turbo out the Master Vaz, he's a little tricky. Y you can of, of course make a deck fully centered around him, and could have done that too with just a few tennies here and there. That might have actually worked just fine, to be honest. But you know what? I've got my big koala. I've got my tennies. And it's all working so far. I mean, he's got two scale bombers. Is this, what does this do? Uh, let's see. Summon a level six or low insect from the grave. Reveal insect. Target face up monster. Switch control. The monster you took becomes an insect. Uh. Okay. Interesting. So he's going to attack into my koala. A big mistake. Death's koala. 400 damage for every card in the hand. In modern Yu-Gi-Oh, usually useless, because most people empty their hands, but this guy didn't. So what does this do? Cannot summon except for bees. Special summon. If an insect is banished. Okay. Does this do anything that I need to be worried about? I don't think it does. Okay. So here is what we are going to do. We are going to normal summon the tree otter. I don't really, I didn't know that there were otters and trees in Australia, but apparently there are. But this thing allows me to boost the power of the big koala by a fat thousand. All right. And I've got that. I could have summoned Sathana, but let's keep that in the hand so my opponent doesn't know I have it. We're just going to go ahead and attempt to attack, but he's got Sting Lance. Okay. I got a banished bead trooper. Summon it. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna get set up for more things. Okay, not the problem. I don't think. Let me think. Is it a is that an issue? Mm, thinking. Wait a minute. Activate Ayers Rock Sunrise. Okay, activate Ayers Rock Sunrise. Get my desk koala. If I had anything in the grave, my opponent's monsters would have gotten weakened, but there were none. Instead, I'll link two of these off. Nightmare Phoenix, Ditch Sathana, get rid of Bottle Park. Alrighty. 
So that'll allow me to wipe my opponent's board unless he's got something I'm not aware of. And he does still have that spell, but I think I'm okay, maybe? We'll find out. Like, big, like, emergency... Never mind. I was about to say I have Super Rush recklessly to spin things into the deck, but I don't. I was about to say I have a Koala, but I don't. Uh, although I have Sathana, so actually I still do have a Koala. And then I can just destroy this thing. Alright. Big question is, what was that spell he added earlier? I wasn't paying half a bit of attention to it. Wasn't that... I'm not sure what the spell was. I think it was a big one, though. Resonance Insect. There it is. B Trooper Descent. Summon a token. Uh, okay. He's got he's got a couple monsters. Okay. Okay. He's not quite done. He's got the armor horn. And then this lets him search a big bug. Uh, is it going to be Doom Dozer? No, it's going to be that thing. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Did the opponent can activate monster? F Wait, what does that say? <sighs> this game goes so fast sometimes. Uh, let's see. Can I activate monster effects in response to spell traps? During the main phase, destroy all face up monsters on the field, except for insects and plants. This card cannot attack directly. Okay. And he dutched metamorphose. Okay. Well, I am in trouble now. Bit of wicked trouble. Just a le let's a wee bit. We'll see. All right, we had a nice start there, but now nah, he was not prepared for that. Uh, that's a bear. I mean, I'm not. I'm not just gonna sit here and let you destroy my life points. I'm gonna fight forward. Such is the case with you know koalas. Sometimes you know koalas are not a very bigly supported bunch. They only have so many cards to them. I mean, we had a nice start. I mean, I had Big Koala. He was ready. That Harpy's Feather Duster, though, that really messed up my plans. I really, I was planning if things got, went just horribly wrong. I was going to, you know, tribute my Big Koala, spin something back to the deck, keep myself going. <sighs> really, the only thing that's going to save me now, I don't think anyone thinks going to save me now. So, I, unfortunately, this first duel is a loss. It's a bit of a loss, but you get kind of the idea of what we're trying to do. You know, we got the 10 Yees. They get out my Koalas. The Koalas do their own thing to start beating into my opponent. And I got Desk Koala off, all right? You know how hard that is in modern Yu-Gi-Oh? With everyone emptying their hands turn one is very tricky. All right, but yeah, this this first duel, unfortunately, a loss. But it was a, it was a decent back and forth. Things happen on both sides, so I can't be complaining about it too much. I just wish I had gotten Polly a little earlier, maybe. Could have made the Master of Oz, perhaps. Alrighty, second opponent. Let's go and do it again. But this time, we aim for victory. I was also hoping to go first this time, but that, not so much. Oh, man, if I get polymerization, be perfect. Although, we're going to start Magicians. So that's just mmm. I'm not I'm not a fan about going second to Dark Magician, although his opening hand seems to be kind of bumpkus. So that's a good thing. Alright, so what are we going to do? Interesting opening hand. Let's start with the bear. We're gonna do some Vernisilf action. Here we go. So we're gonna get to draw a card and I get to special summon the biggest of koalas. All right, and now that we've done that, I've got a Normie on the board, so I can go for Vessel of, of the Dragon Cycle. Go ahead and send Thana, and we'll add a Nahata for now. Yeah, that ought to work. That ought to work. We'll set Scapegoat for later. <sighs> yes? Okay. All right, so now that we've done all that, mm, let's see. Not an Earth monster. Let's see. Let's use our Vernisilf's effect. Use the duck. We'll get the fairy. They're kind of trying to build up my board here. We'll summon the bear. We're just going to summon all the big dudes in the world. 
We use our Vernon Sills effect. And we're going to get the spell that turns every Earth monster into a Vernisil. That way, my a flourishing girl protects me with the power of Corolla. There you go. So now I cannot be... Uh, what was it? I can't be destroyed by card effects. Meaning, I can play Wild Nature's Release for free. And also, I can use my Vernisil so I can attack twice this turn. So... Barring my opponent actually having anything to stop me, I should be able to do lots of damage. Oh, there's no way this works. No shot. Come on. Oh, okay. Very nice. That that was one in one in a thousand. Perfect, perfect turn. You know, we did everything what we wanted to do. That was exactly what this deck wants to do, is summon out a koala and do damage. It, it shows off exactly what we want. The bear lets me attack twice. I got protection. I've got a goat in case things go wrong, but there you go. There, There's the perfect iteration of what this deck does. It's koalas doing damage. All right. This might be a shorter episode, but we'll see how it goes. Let's go for one more duel, maybe two. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but let's keep going. Maybe maybe Thunder will strike twice in the land down under. That would be great. All right, to the third opponent, the fight in third. Because it's time to go fight, man. That first duel, no, 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 the second duel. It was the first duel I lost. The second duel got me all fired up. That's right. All right, what do we have? Oh, baby. Oh, wait. Yeah, this works. This works. This works just fine. Uh, we're going to play Terraforming. Get our Terraforming Tenny, tenny Field spell. And I did open up a Vernus, so whenever you open up one of these guys and you got a big koala, it's all good. So now I get to send a dude to the grave. Who do I want to send? Good question. We'll send Edhara for now. I really just need, like, a big koala on the board. That's what I need. That's what I want, what I need. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to end our turn there. Not a great start, because I don't have any tenyes, but I might get some tenyes possible it's very 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 possible all right what can my opponent do i sit upon this koala and i say ye what oh boy i might be about to get hunted like the animal i am oh boy amazon s are a brutal bunch Ooh, starting with the fusion that's pretty tough that's pretty beefy all right my glasses keep falling off because I'm like, oh boy, women. All right, so Amazon's Empress, nice. And he's got the silver sword. Oh, of course I got the thing that, well, actually, if I live, that's not bad, actually. That's actually not bad at all. Because, okay. I got the Amazon spell trap at the grave, and it back to the hand, yep. All right. Okay. I was about to say that that was like the worst, but actually, oh, but I need, well, I have a normal monster. I'm gonna, hmm, hmm, hmm. Perhaps, maybe. Okay, that hand, that that draw is not that good, but this one is. I've got my fusion deployment. I've got my koala. As long as I got my koala, I am in the game. So, let's go for Vessel. My opponent's sitting there like, what the heck is this guy up to? Uh, answer is shenanigans. I like to get my Sathana and I'll get my Shuda. Because while the Empress protects everyone else, she can't protect herself. Oh wait, does he? Oh wait, the fusion's a quick play, isn't it? It is, but he didn't have anything to summon. Okay, good. And let's go ahead and use that Adhara that I ditched earlier because I was planning this all along, of course. Of course I was. What would you think otherwise? Let's see. Do I want to summon this? Not especially. I would normally go for the Wild Nature's release here. Let me think. Normal summon Tree Otter. Activate his effect. I should have summoned Vashuda first. 
What? All right. Flawless perfection. Right, right, right. I don't, I don't get to affect myself with my own effects. Okay. It's what, it, what, what would I have done? 1500. Is that game? That wouldn't have been game either way. It's fine. We'll use that stuff later. We is good. He's good in the hood. I've got a Bishuda, so I can bounce a card if I need to. Got Sathana, so I can bring back Koala, destroy a card when I need to, because I'm sure I will need to. But my opponent surrenders. Okay. Um, normally, I don't like it when my opponent surrenders that quick, but, you know, with Koalas, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Okay, so I guess my opponent just had a bad hand, to be honest. He had a bit of a bad hand. And he wasn't prepared for the Vernasil Koala Tenyi deck. Nobody is. Nobody's prepared for it. Uh, but, all right, we, we were able to somehow out Amazons. Again, got a little lucky with that one, but it's, it's fine. Sometimes luck is all you need. So let's go for one more, because this has been a rather short episode. Let's go for one more duel and see if we can find a strong. All right, everybody, it's time for the fourth and final duel, the last chance for romance. And, you know, luck has been on our side these past two duels. It's actually been doing okay with our good old koalas. Admittedly, I haven't actually fusion summoned yet, but yeah, I don't know if I get I get, if I get the right stuff. I mean, we're up against Sword Soul, so I'm pretty much screwed no matter what I do. But you, you know what? If I can get Polly, I will at least attempt to summon out my boy. I have no reason not to do all right, so sword. So I actually have that guy in here, don't I? Or was that in a different build? That might have been a different. No, wait, he's, he's in there somewhere. Just because I can make it, you know? Just because I can make it and it adds a little bit of something. So, big question is will I have a turn? That is a big question. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All I really need. Is Polly. If I could get Polly out of the 55 cards out of my deck, so I, I got five copies of it. So I've got a one in 11 chance, something like that. I'm, I'm not a math guy, but I got, I got a chance. If I can just get Polly, I'll be happy. We can summon the Master of Oz and say we've done everything needed to do to have a successful day of koalaing. Okay? Let's be real. Everyone wants to see the guy, everyone knows the guy. And whether my opponent will allow me to do the guy is a big question. Because normally with... Well, he's either going to summon Cheng Ying or Baron the Floor. I'm going to guess Cheng Ying. Because it's like, if he gets destroyed, he banishes stuff instead. No, it's Baron the Floor. Okay. That was my next choice. Cool. All right. So, what say ye, deck? What will you give me? All right, well, that's not what I wanted necessarily, but I'll take it. All right, let's start with a summoner's art. He has one negate that we know of if he doesn't have three more. Let's see, this only negates effect monsters on the field, so that's a good thing. All right, there we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and use this one. I'd rather have the option of potentially drawing a card if I can help it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. This is going to be a hard one, though. Because I'm... I've got a feeling that this is the trap that the Sword Souls have. You know, the one that uh, annihilates everything in the world. So we'll see how it goes. Got Ash Blossom, but he's used it. He has been on the floor. He hasn't used it yet. And still don't know what this face down is. That's the big question. I think it's the thing that blows stuff up. Ooh, that might be helpful. All right, we'll give it a shot. Pot of Desires. Turn, turn, turn. Give me a card that I can use. I would appreciate it. Or don't. Did I banish my... I'm, I'm going to laugh if I banish both my polys. One second. I banished my poly searcher. I did banish that. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Banish this card from the hand of the grave. Why can't I banish Vishuda, my 
All right, the Verna Sylphs. I can't use my monster's effects right now. Whoops, that's unfortunate. That's kind of the, that's kind of the problem, isn't it? That's pro. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? All right, well that is un. For I, I figured I was gonna get destroyed with this, but at least there was a hope. There was a hope for a moment, but yeah, we're. Oh, why did you do that? Oh, because he wants to make something else, of course. I'm, I'm like, why would you bounce Baron the Fleur? It ever did much with it? I guess he did do the negate, so it makes some sense. Okay. All right. Well. Level 11? Star Reader, perhaps? I doubt it. No, nobody makes Star Reader anymore. Nobody's got the balls to make Star Reader anymore. I shouldn't judge. I don't make Star Reader either. I don't make him either, but yeah. Really depends on what he makes. Oh, no, it's this thing. Uh, life or less than or equal to your opponents. This guy unaffected by card effects. Pay a thousand. Target a monster for control. You control the card. Poke controls to banish them. End of the damage step. Da, 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 da. Start banishing this guard gaze. Attack you to the difference between your life points and your opponents. Well, then. I, he is looking to... Oh, wait. Yeah, I have more life. You have more life points than I do. So this doesn't get unaffected. Correct? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can pay a thousand. And monster, you control the card, opponent controls, banish them. He, I don't think he'll do that, but we'll find out. I don't think he would be aware that I have the ten years. Yeah. So we'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Tricky business. My opponent's been very cautious so far, but maybe he'll blunder. I don't know. Because in order to banish my koala, right now only has a Shizhou. Oh, he is going to do that. Shoot. That was kind of, kind of, sort of my hope and prayer that he didn't do that. All right. Well, it's only 3,700. I've seen bigger. All right. Well, a regrettable thing, but the duel is not over. Not by a long shot. Well, some of a shooter. Bring out this dude, and then we're gonna banish for shoot up, and my opponent surrenders. Why though? Duel just started, my dude. You were winning. Okay. Um. I'm gonna count that one and the last one as one big win because I feel like that was both my opponents just kind of bricking pretty much. Uh, but yeah, let, but while the going is still good, let, let's go ahead and go to the end screen. I think we've um, gotten enough to say what the heck what happened today. Alrighty, everybody, the Koala Tenny Verna Sylph experimentation went two out of three somehow. Now, I'm going to admit, I was not super confident in this deck going into it. I did this on stream, and it was a bit clunky. It was a bit clunky and a bit weird. It, it had some things it could do, but lordy, it was, it was not as consistent as I would like. But today, surprisingly, we got the things off that we wanted to get off. The big koala did do the damage, won us some duels, and I don't know. Some of it was just my opponent's, like, I don't know. I guess I just wrong-footed them. They did not know what I was trying to do, and they were not willing to stay. They were not willing to stick around and find out. Uh, so we we got more wins, I think, that the deck deserves. But at the same time, we deserve it for trying and winning and doing. So you know what? We we won ourselves some duels today, and we did it with the koala way. We didn't just focus on the. We didn't even use the bloody extra deck hardly. Hardly ever. I'm sorry, Master Boss. Not today. Maybe next time we'll do better by it. Next time it'll just be Master Boss Turbo. That's really what I should have focused on. But at the same time, I'm glad I tried this because it's always good to experiment with new ideas, especially in Yu Gi Oh! where everybody's playing the same cards over and over and over and over again. So I hope everybody enjoyed seeing this Koala deck, this odd combination of things. 
let me know what you think of it in the comments and if there's some ways i could have made it maybe maybe streamlined it more maybe scapegoat wasn't really necessary or super rush or a million other things but I, i'm happy with how the deck turned out so thanks for watching your boy memphis signing out for now y'all take care to next time we'll be taking a look at them mcconkos i'll see how that goes so till then y'all take care y'all have a good one okay we're done